evening. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to Chocolat One. And my name is Beth Hitchcock. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And I'd like to invite you in for some chalking and talking today. I have a really fun project um, lined up for us. Let me see if we went live or we did. And I'm going to share this to the VIP group real quick. And we did it. Great. If you're hopping on, um, please say hello. Like and follow my page. I appreciate that. And sprinkle this out to your other friends and groups. Um, let's help me get my name out there so my logarithms will continue to keep improving. I'm having a great time. We are, Chuck a Tour has um, provided us a 14-day learning opportunity um, about um, social media, and I'm having a great time doing it. So maybe some of you may be noticing that I have, I'm, I'm doing a post every day now. And it's a lot of fun. I have to say it really is a lot of fun. So I'm excited to be here. I hope you are too. We're going to use our block set today. And it is, I'll show you, let me get the wrapper off of it. It's three blocks like this. So you can stack them all together like that. Or, hi Elsie, thanks for watching today. You can stack them together like that, or you can separate them however you want to do it. So these, I, I really love working with these. They're a lot of fun. First thing we're going to do, I think, let me see if I have a sanding block right here. I have one. I'm gonna see if we can get, my, my palm sander that I really like is outside, but I think this will work. I'm just gonna kind of rough the corners up and the edges just a little bit. I just like the way that looks. I'm even do a little bit on this. It's kind of good to sand these um, or white painted surfaces just a little bit. It helps prevent with any of the any of the paste feathering in there. Gives a little dark hue around the edge. I like that. I got these sanding blocks. Um, maybe Harbor Freight, maybe. That sounds like that might be right. Okay, that one looks good. Let's do the same thing to this one. Does not like the corners. <laughs> and it chewed that sponge, that sanding sponge up. Palm sander is a lot easier. I just kind of ran out a little time tonight. Didn't want to come on too late for you. I hope you're having a great day. What did we do? Oh, my husband got a new iPhone today. Lucky, lucky dog. He got the new iPhone 13. And I said, I want to use your camera to do my lives. Um, didn't work. <clears throat> We're getting there. And I can also take this outside when I'm done chalking and finish if I want to make it a little bit more dark on the edges. It's a little bit rougher.
So, did you know that it is um, National Ask a Stupid Question Day? Um, I know I've asked many of those in my day. I got to the point, I went to, I went back to school as an adult and I really appreciated that experience because I was choosing to be there. It wasn't an expectation. Um, hi Irma, thanks for joining. It wasn't an expectation of anybody but myself. And so I was there to learn. And so I didn't believe stupid questions existed. Um, some of the 18 year old kids in the class might have thought that, but if you don't ask, you don't learn. I don't know. All right, that's good enough for that. Let me take this wet wipe here and clean up this mess. Don't want that sticking to our transfer or getting in our paste. like I need a new um, self-healing mat. I need a pretty one for what I'm showing and I need like this one that's all used up <laughs> for doing the real work. Okay. Set that over there. Now wipe this off. Oh. Not the best color on a black apron. Let me just grab a towel here and wipe these off. I probably will use the palm sander and sand those down a little bit more on the edges. But we can get started right now. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I have Three blocks. Oh, we're going to wax first. That's what the first thing we're going to do. I always like to wax my wood surfaces. Um, so our transfers are a sticky vinyl, so you don't have to spray anything or glue anything down. Um, but they're a, a vinyl material, and uh, they have a silk screen mesh in them. That's what makes them so special. Um, but I don't, you don't want to stretch them because then you just can distort your image. So I'm just putting a little bit of this is a um, Minwax finishing paste. Just putting a, a, a really thin layer of wax on there. And by doing that, it helps release the transfer. Also gives me a little insurance that if I get a paste or a bleed, then it helps clean that up a lot easier. And then the next step I like to do is to heat that wax up into the wood. And then we'll buff it out. That would be great. So the moral to the story that I was saying is there is no such thing as a stupid question, but I guess there is a stupid question day. <laughs> so if you have a question, please ask, drop it in the comments. I don't think there is such a thing as a stupid question. Okay. There we go. That's good. Oh, that feels so nice. All right, now I've got three transfers. This is our Welcome Star. It's a really sweet transfer. I've used it many times because I love this little quilt pattern on here. It looks like, looks like a quilt to me. Comes with these two pieces, uh, this little quilt pattern and then a tiny welcome sign. We're not gonna use that. We're just gonna use the little quilt pattern and we're going to put it right here on this little square block. Set these over here. 
And because I've used this so many times, I'm not even going to fuzz it. I'm just going to lay it down. Get it on there pretty. It just fits just perfect. Okay. And you could do this any color you want to. I chose to use the um, Ocean Mist color, the light blue. I had these blues out yesterday and I was pretty happy with our snowflakes, how they came out the colors. A tub of water here for when we're gonna wash the transfer. And a cup of water. Hey Barb, thanks for joining today. FedEx is here, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. That means Chocotour has arrived. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna get some of this on my squeegee and then just apply it. Sorry about the dogs barking, they'll stop in just a minute. <clears throat> Just get it on there. Cover up all that silk screen area. I think I ordered more cutouts. Um, I think that's what I did because I wanted to get some more stuff in the consignment shop. They're having their soft open on Saturday. I can't wait to see how she has all my things displayed. It's gonna be exciting. And then Sue and I isn't that cute? I love this little pattern. Hi Susan, thanks for watching. I think that is just the sweetest little pattern. I'm going to wash this off in my bucket of water. I like to wash my transfers right after. The paste comes right off so easy. <clears throat> and that's one of the ways of uh, good care for your transfers. Getting that paste out of there. Sometimes the paste might stain the green, the, the teal vinyl part. But the important thing is that you get the paste out of the silk screen. So you can use it over and over again. I'm going to just hang it on the edge of my table here. That is so simple, so adorable, and so satisfying. All right. We're going to use this again, so I'll leave that open. Set this over here to dry. And then this one, we're going to put three of these three little houses on it. I'm probably going to have to scoot them together, though. Oops. There we go. This one feels like I will fuzz it. <clears throat> it feels a little bit less used. We're not going to use our life or store at home, although you could use that <clears throat> on the third block if you didn't have the next transfer, the, uh, oops, the one that Autumn sings. We're going to use gratitude from that set. I need to check something real quick here. Oh, I was going to paint that blue. Okay, well, I can paint the other side. That's fine. That feels good. Let's see if those will, those three will fit on that note. So we're going to, we're going to just um, <clears throat> paste and then pick up and move. I'm going to 
definitely get them straight though. So the measurement, um, the lines on this mat are really helpful. So those are about, how wide are those? They're two inches. And that one is two inches. And that one is two inches. And the block is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to go right next to each other. Um, we'll try and get them in the middle here. We'll just start at this end and work our way down. And I have bronze, black, and we're going to use the blue also. Get some more squeegees. is going to be black. I'll do one at a time because we've got to pick them up and move them. And the little house is going to be bronze. Pull any black into my bronze. I don't want to mix these colors. So the safest way is to go up to, oh, see, I already did it. Darn it. Got a little black in there. I'm gonna pull it down like I meant it. <clears throat> okay, we'll pull that up. And that still looks cute. Oh, it leaked really bad though. Hmm. Let's see if we can get that cleaned up with a Q-tip. I just dip it in water. I don't know if we're going to be able to save that or not. That's not working. The black is one of the worst colors to get a bleed on on white surface. So what I'm going to do is, luckily this block has two sides. And I can come back and paint this side. Let me see if I can wipe that whole thing off. And let's just paint, paste the back side. Oh, that, that works. That works too. That's because we waxed it. I was able to do that. Not everybody waxes, but it's, it's almost a must for me. All right, well, let's start over. We just leaked right through there. I don't know why. I thought I was being careful. The black paste can be a little bit on the thin side. But it's good that I can show you how to fix things too, so no worries. Okay, set this up here for a second. Let's wash this transfer off and try again. That 
that's the real world. Not everything goes as smooth as you'd like. That's okay. Okay, let's dry this now. Flip it over, dry the other side, and then I'll just use the quick dry tool to dry it really quickly. Just to make sure it's completely dry. You can use this tool because it's a very, very low temperature. Um, you would not want to use your blow dryer or a heat tool because you would just melt your transfer. All right, let's try it again. Put him down. So this time, let me see, I'm going to I'm gonna do the house first in our pretty bronze. And I'm gonna put my glasses on if I can find them. Here they go. <laughs> that might have been the problem. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try it again. And I didn't refuzz because I uh, don't know why that black leaked so bad under that roof line. But I didn't like that. And I could still feel the wax on there, so we're okay that way. I love these little windows on here. These cute little farmhouses look like your farmhouse, Barb. You have such a pretty house. I love seeing all those pumpkins that you harvested. I'm not, I'm, pr I'm trying not to press very hard at all. Just pull, gently pull that paste over it. I think that's better. So much better. <laughs> so cute. That's so much better. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we're going to dry this put our next house on. You want to dry it when you're when you're moving a transfer, you want to make sure the first piece you pasted is dry so you don't smudge it. And that uh, shimmer paste takes a little bit for it to dry. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this little piece of a backer sheet that we had our little uh, star cut out on and place it right over that um, and line up my next house. Try and line it up. Well, maybe I'll do this first so I can see where I'm going. That'll leave, and that'll leave enough room for our last house. Put 
what I'm going to do is now put this little backer sheet just to protect that paste so I don't accidentally pull it up. And this little guy is going to be black roof. They're all going to have black roofs, but he's going to have a, um, he's going to be ocean blue. A pretty light blue here, ocean mist. So all of our pieces are going to tie in nicely. on there and again I'm being very gentle spreading this black paste concentrating very hard <laughs> good. Oh shoot. I pasted over that. I need, I, did you see what I did? I pasted over it and got the paste there and not on there. I think I've done that before. That might not be the best way for me to do things. Let's try that and then I'll fix it. Finish the house off over here. I think I'll do the whole house again so it doesn't look like I have an uneven layer of paste on there. Just don't push down too hard when you're going over that paste. All right, that's better. Let me retry that now. Then we'll do. <clears throat> our third little house on here. So that one looks like he's kind of sitting behind a little bit. Maybe I will get this one to sit. Where's the wood? Oh, there it is. More even with it. And he's going to be, let's see here, copper and black, I think. I'm kind of scared of this black paste now. The air out of your silk screen. It's 
very, very wet. There we go. Let's see if that works. That's good. You know what? We have to do one more thing over here. Probably was not a good idea. That's okay. That's okay. All right, I'm going to wash this. I'll hold that up and show you what our little houses look like. Those little houses were stressful. I didn't think it would be so stressful, but it was. I love this transfer though. I want to be able to find new, you know, different ways of using it. So let's try that. Because I laid that back down while it was wet, <laughs> it looks like it has a mud thatched house, a roof. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, there's our little houses, you little buggers. Aren't they cute? Little neighborhood. I think they look cute. Hi, Nancy. How are you? How are you tonight? Oh, we're having fun here. So this is what we have so far. Okay. And now we have one last piece to do. And I was supposed to paint it before, so I'm going to not do the wax side. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to paint this side, and we're gonna paint it in the ocean mist. Let me find my paintbrush. This is my favorite paintbrush. I think I used it. I really need to buy another artist tool kit, because I use them so much. Well, maybe I will try doing, have you ever used, um, have you ever done the wet wipe method with the chalk paste? Let me show you how that works. You get a little color tray and put some of your chalk paste in it. And I'm just going to spread this with the wet wipe. Put this in here and we're gonna we're gonna paint with a wet wipe. Works really well because the um, moisture from the wet wipe thins out your paste, and you can it can you can make it look like you could add another little a couple of dashes of gray or something like that in there, and get a really nice um, kind of wood tone look. But look how easy that was. Can you see? Nice. Pretty easy. Get that edge. Well, that doesn't matter because I'm going to go sand those down a little bit more anyway. All right, so that was, that's how you do that. When you can't find your paintbrush, we'll dry that real good and then we'll, re then we'll wax it again. It's gonna be cute when it's done, that's for sure. It, the chalk paste dries really fast. It's another advantage of doing, using the chalk paste to paint with. 
Put a little wax on that now though so we don't just pull that right back up. It's a fun project. And then again, I use the heat set tool to, or the um, quick dry tool, just to um, kind of soften that wax right into that, right into the wood grain, and then buff it out. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks so pretty. Just doing that it makes it look so pretty and shiny and smooth. All right, enough jabbering. So this is the um, autumn sayings. And I thought we'd use gratitude. Because aren't we all so grateful for it? We all have something to be grateful for in our lives. <clears throat> and I don't think that I've used <clears throat> gratitude yet. So I'm going to have to fuzz this really good. And this is just to put a layer of fuzz on the back of that stickiness <clears throat> because I haven't used it. I don't really, and we waxed, um, so I'm hoping we don't pull up that chalk paint paste that we just put down. That's what I'm hoping. That feels pretty good. And it just fits perfect on this block. That looks pretty good. Let's make sure we're lined up straight here on the top and kind of see how much I have going over the edge so I can kind of judge. We'll do gratitude in, in the scary black. <laughs> <clears throat> and we'll do the little swirl down here in the copper. I think that'll be cute. Push it down really good. Okay. All right, scary black. I'm going to do the copper first. That's easier. There we go. That's good. And again, I'm not pressing hard because I don't want any leaks. This black paste is very thin for some reason. Um, probably need to send a fix-it form in on it because it's a, just a little too thin. It's more like ink, actually. Just a real light touch, and I think we'll, you'll be okay. I don't I think I've ordered, I ordered some, but I don't, it hasn't come yet. And then I just go back and I want all those lines picked up because I don't want that line on my transfer. Just very gently. Let's see. Looks great. It looks really nice. Okay, let me wash this really quick. I 
I better spend some, I gotta do some, take some pictures of some of these things. I haven't done that in a while. I posted them. Okay, put this over here to drip dry. Oops, wipe my hands off again. I'm just gonna clean up this paste really quick so I don't have any mishaps with things getting pulled through it. dry this so I don't accidentally touch it. I remember when this light color blue was all the rage in the kitchens. Um, we had the little blue goose, I think is what it was. I think it was a goose. Yeah, it was a goose. Cookie jars, they were really popular. I think that was maybe the, I don't know, what era was that? 70s, 80s? Maybe 80s. Here's our gratitude sign. I know the light kind of washes it out, but it's a light, is that better? It's a light blue. It looks really, that black looks really sharp on there. So that goes like that. And this goes like that. And I thought, let's see if we can put a little, a little ribbon around it. You're about to get a treat watching me tie a ribbon. Make sure that's dry. That's really dry. So I'm going to just set this over here for a second. It's just going to be a bow, you guys. Don't get your hopes up for anything fancy. I need. I like this ribbon though. It's a, it looks like crocheted lace to me. That'll be pretty. Where my scissors are either. I'm a mess today. <laughs> okay, let's just tie a little bow on this. That's cute. Cute. There we go. Okay. That's just a little just to give it a little dimension, but isn't that cute? That's a really cute little set. I like it. Oops, maybe this bow needs to go to this side though. Now if I'm looking at it, yep, that's better. All right, if you like it, I love it. It came out so cute. Smash that hearts button, I love it. Okie doke, that's it. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Susan and I have a, a girl's uh, long weekend plan next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll be back Thursday. We're going to Quinn's Hot Springs in Montana, which is a 
beautiful place to go and soak up in the mineral water. So, all right. Um, but I'll be here through the weekend, and I'm, I'm either going to go live when I'm there so I can show you the beauty of that place. So that's it for today. Until we chalk again, take great care, and I'll see you later.